Welcome to Primetime. I'm Brian Ades, and today we're talking to Tracy McCubbin of Declutterfly. Being a realtor, I'm in homes constantly where people are pack rats. Yeah. They just hold on to things for a very, very long time that we really don't need. And one of the biggest things I've noticed is in living in today with the internet, books. So what's a good solution for something as simple as a book collection? I am a big fan of donating. For instance, all of your local libraries, all of Los Angeles libraries have something called Friends of the Libraries mm. where they do book sales. So I've always found for my clients it's so much easier to get rid of something if they know it's going somewhere mm. as opposed to just the idea of throwing it away. And my clients are so surprised. You know, They always say, like, oh, well, I'm going to be able to sell it. And it's like, you can't. It's so hard to sell things. Yeah. And they're surprised, like, I have to pay someone to haul this away? And it's like, yeah. What's the second category that's like the most cluttered? What are the most cluttered paper, items? Paper. paper. People are drowning in paper. I see this a lot with my kind of, you know, 60 and over clientele. Mm. You know, there was a time in their life, I mean, in my life too, where mm. the mail mm. that you received, you know, 75, 80% was important. There were mm. letters, there were checks, there were things, and the rest was junk. Now, I can go three days without getting an important piece of mail, but mm. we're trained to believe that mail is important, mm -hmm. so we hang on to it. And you hear a lot of times with clothing, if you haven't worn it in a year, get rid of it. Is right. that right? Yeah. Clothing is sort of a lot of what I like to call wishful thinking. Well, mm. I might get back into this someday. If I just lose the weight, I'll fit mm. into it again. And that's sort of bad on twofold, because one, you're hanging on to something that just makes you feel bad about yourself every time you look at it. Mm. And then also, I always say to people, look, by the time you can fit back into it, you may not want to wear it again. Like, the mini skirt may have passed for you. <laughs> you know, that ship may have sailed. Nice. And there are great places all over the city to donate clothes. I work a lot with Habitat for Humanity to pick up, um, mm -hmm. you know, for their restores. Yeah. We'll come out, we'll pick up old appliances. That's or one of the top. I feel very strongly about donating to places that put it back into the local community. Mm -hmm. So I donate to Out of the Closet a lot. Okay. Um, I donate to Habitat for Humanity at least once a week mm -hmm. um, because I love that the, the money that they use builds houses in their neighborhood. Like I said earlier, it's so much easier for my clients if they know that it's happening. I had a client who had a brand new in a box karaoke machine. Mm. like. You know, a couple hundred dollars and she was like oh, I can't oh, I, I'm never gonna use it and I said just let me take this so we took it over to Covenant House which is a runaway shelter in Hollywood and the kids were like is that a karaoke <laughs> machine I'm not kidding before I was back to my car they like had it plugged in they were singing waterfalls by TLC wow. I call my client and I held the phone up and I was like listen to what you did uh, right think where it's going you yeah. know, and then it becomes so much easier. If you had one message to give someone watching today, what's the one thing that they should just, you know, take five minutes and is it just throw something out today? Is that the way to go? Yeah, I love the five minutes. Take five minutes.